Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Math with Matt. Many of you guys might not have math manipulatives at home, problem solved. Today, we are going to learn how to use virtual pattern blocks to deepen our understanding of fractions. Alright everybody, so let's talk about how to navigate to this page. So what Lincoln's going to do is he's going to the website, he's going to hit resources, and then he's going to hit math apps. Now, I want you to scroll down a little bit, Lincoln, so we can show all the parents and teachers. There we go. So you're gonna hit pattern blocks and you're gonna hit open web app on top there. And once you hit the open web app, you're going to get the screen. Now, so what I want you to do, Marshall and Lincoln, is I want you to pull out the yellow hexagon. Pull out the yellow hexagon, please. Great. Now. For a little moment, your task, your task is going to be, if that yellow hexagon is one whole, what is the value of the green piece, the blue piece, and the red piece? Okay. I want you to take a moment by yourselves to figure out the value of the red piece, the green piece, I know. And, and we'll come back to you in a moment and, and ask. So as they're doing this, parents, I just wanted to share that there is a writing tool down at the bottom, that little pen. You can actually write on there, but you'll have, a, you'll have a lot of time to explore this on your own. So we'll take a couple minutes and then ask them, ask Marshall and Lincoln to kind of share their thinking. So let's talk about this um, real quick, just for just for time purposes. So, what can someone can one of you give me a quiet hand and maybe tell me what is the value of the red? Marshall, can I ask you what, what do you think the value of the red is? A half. Why do you think the red is a half? Because it takes two reds to make a yellow hexagon. Okay, Lincoln, do you agree with that? Yep. Okay, Lincoln, what do you think the value of the green is? A six. Why a six? Because it has six green pieces. What do you think, Marshall? What do you think about the six? I agree with Lincoln. Oh, okay. Why? Because it takes six green pieces to make the yellow hexagon. So, did you figure out what the value of the blue oh, yeah. parallelogram is? Or? <clears throat> hmm. Oh, I know. Third. What do you you think a third? Why do you think a third already? What do you think, Marshall? I think it's going to be... Yeah, I agree with Lincoln. It's oh, why a, be third? a third? Because it takes three blue pieces to equal... Okay. Let me do one last thing. Could you um, could you press that little those little arrows to refresh your screen, please? Mm-hmm. And hit start over and hit yes. Great. Now here's what I want you to do. Our final task, just for time. I want you to take out two yellow hexagons and have them touch sides, just like they're touching their sides. Touching corners oh, yes. is fine also. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a moment and tell me now if two hexagons equal one whole. If two hexagons equal a whole, what is the value of the green, the blue, and the red now? So take a couple seconds and let's see what changes now. Oh, I, know. I think I know what the answer would be. What do you think? I think the green yes. would be a 12. Why would the green be a 12? Because if if six greens make a hole, then and we have two holes, then we're that's going to be twelve greens. So, so now that the two yellow hexagons is a hole, you're going to think each one is going to be a twelve. What were you thinking, Lincoln? Since there's two yellows, I think everything is doubled, like the six, twelve, the three, six, and the two, four. Mm. So everything is doubled. So. 
just before we, I just have a question for you. So was this fun for you guys? Yes, yeah. it was really why was fun. It, why do you think it was fun? Because it, it was really cr like creative. Like oh, it helps you be creative? Yeah. yeah. Do you and think so too? Fun. So, again, today we were exploring the Math Learning Center, and today we were looking at the fraction, actually we were looking at the pattern blocks, but stay tuned in the next few weeks. We will explore other of other um, apps that are on this website to get you a deeper understanding of how they work. But in the meantime, please explore this site and just see what, what the possibilities are with all these manipulatives. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Math with Matt. We'll see you soon.